Well done, Junpei. Oh, his face just changed. This is not the ace that I loved. As you so correctly deduced, I have the number nine bracelet. It doesn't even sound the same either. I retrieved it while we were searching for the missing hardware for the red. I left the room I was supposed to search and headed to the first class cabin on B deck. My purpose was to obtain the number nine bracelet. Nine is a potent ally in the nonary game. Adding nine to any set of numbers won't alter the digital root. Ah. And you knew this because you ran the previous game. As you can see, nine is a very useful number here. With it, one can go anywhere. It is, I suppose you could say, a game changer. So I made for the first class cabin to obtain it. In mere moments, I successfully acquired the number nine bracelet. There was also an unexpected bonus. The knife. The ninth man had. Used. I quickly pocketed both of them and left. I made my way back to where I was expected to be. That's when I ran into Snake. Well, this guy X, actually. I spotted him ahead of me. He was heading for the large hospital room and hadn't noticed me. The man wearing Snake's clothes arrived at door three. Who is that? When he stopped, I walked up behind him and called out, Snake. He turned around. He said nothing. His mouth simply hung half open. He seemed dazed somehow, almost like a man half asleep. Perhaps he had been drugged. It wasn't important. I tend to gloss over little things like that. I was certain that man was Snake. I knew Snake had taken part in the nonary game nine years ago. Being blind, it made sense that he didn't recognize me immediately upon our first meeting. But why then hadn't Snake said anything to me later? Surely he hadn't forgotten what had happened to him in the nonary game. But not once did he attempt to confront me. Did his lack of sight prevent him from fully recognizing who I was? Or perhaps Snake had conspired with Zero to deceive me? Regardless, he was a threat, and it was better to deal with him sooner rather than later. I had to get rid of him before he took action. With quick thinking, my plan went into motion immediately. I held the number nine bracelet over the red. I waved my own bracelet in front of the red, and then grabbed Snake's arm and shoved his hand against the scanner panel. The door opened. I threw the man through it. <laughs> Nine seconds later, the door shut. 81 seconds passed. After that, I returned to my post as though nothing had happened. After conducting my own search, I returned to the large hospital room when the 1 a.m. bell rang. <sighs> All the dots. Ace, did you kill Clover? Yes. Yes. Why? Why did you kill her? She was Snake's sister. It was possible he had told her something dangerous. Additionally, she had gone through door one. It seemed likely she might have found it. Found what? Why don't you go through door one yourself? Perhaps it's hidden somewhere. Yeah, but Lotus and I went through door one, too. It's hidden somewhere? We didn't see anything suspicious. Door one was the chart room. The captain's quarters. Oh, is he talking about the captain? Maybe? I'm not sure. Huh. Yes. I thought as much after I heard your report at the central stairs. I doubt the two of you could find it. Hmm? And what? All the dots. Huh? Even more dots. But perhaps Clover was different. Perhaps she had found it. I was, therefore, desperate to find her. And at last I did, in the first class cabin. I spoke very calmly. Did you, did you see, see it? it? See what? Don't, don't act, act as if you don't, don't understand. understand. You were in, you the, were captain's in the captain's quarters, quarters weren't you? Uh-huh. What are you, what are you talking, talking about? about? Hmm. Very well. Uh, All the dots. By the way, what are you doing here, Clover? What? Uh, nothing. There's blood on your shoes. It looks fresh. 
All the dots. Did you go take a look at the ninth man's corpse? Mm-hmm. All the dots. I see. Your silence suggests that you noticed. You saw something, didn't you? You saw that his bracelet was gone. No! You aren't going anywhere. You're staying here. No! <laughs> Don't you run, little girl. That was how I killed Clover. You son of a bitch! Yeah, I, I, I'm not one to say that language, but thank you, Seven. I, I'll approve it this time. <laughs> All the dots. Mm. All the dots. <gasps> Even more dots. <laughs> I admit it. I've lost. I have lost. Completely and utterly. Don't misunderstand, Junpei. I didn't lose to you. I lost to Zero. Not you. <sighs> I'm rather disgusted with myself for falling into such a simple trap. I looked the fool. And it was a trap. Make no mistake. I was trapped and manipulated by Zero. All the dots. The man I killed in the shower room? If he wasn't Snake, then I have no idea who he was. But he was wearing Snake's clothes. And that was no coincidence. He had also been injected with something that reduced his cognition and prevented him from identifying himself or resisting me. And we can't forget the components that were removed from the red before we arrived. Yeah. There's just so many questions that need to be answered. I have no doubt that Zero planned all of this. Zero made sure I would kill that man. <sighs> It follows, of course, that Zero knew everything I would do. That I would try to take the number nine bracelet. That I would try to kill Snake. Everything. All the dots. I must punish them. The innocent lives they sacrificed. This is the only warning they will receive. That innocent souls might be saved. And now state the truth. Zero. Zero is one of us. Huh? All the dots. All of us. Zero is one of us? No. Wait, there's one more person. Snake. The man who died in the shower room is in Snake. That means he's almost certainly still alive. And he's most certainly Zero. Maybe Snake is Zero. Maybe he made Guy X wear his clothes so that we'd all think he was dead. Hmm. Where's Snake now? What if he's off somewhere laughing at us? If he is Zero, he must have been lying to us about everything else. Is he watching us? Oh, we well, still have to go through the nine doors. I believe I've finished with my confession. Why don't we get moving? Yeah, uh, hate to say it, but he's got a point. What the hell is this shit? You aren't going anywhere, you son of a bitch! We're gonna leave your ass here to rot! Why? Because I killed Clover? That's ridiculous. Why are you so upset that I killed the little bitch? She was nothing to you. A stranger you only met a few hours ago. Am I wrong? She was my friend. You bastard! She's a <gasps> human being. Blindsiding me with a punch, huh? You've got some fire, don't you? I confess, I rather like a tough woman. Well, maybe you'd like another one then. Uh, before that, let me give you one of my own. Huh? <gasps> now if he's any got of the you gun. So much as blink, I won't hesitate to pull this trigger. How does he have the gun? I've already killed two, no, three people. Don't think I'm not ready to make it four. Three people? What do you mean? Hmm. Very well. Let me take this opportunity to illuminate you. Yeah, who else did you kill? The person who killed the ninth man was me. Wait, what? Although I suppose to be more accurate, I encouraged him to get himself killed. <sighs> All the dots. While we were examining the main staircase, he came to me and 
told me his name. I recognized it at once, so I gave him a little push. Just a little white lie. It seems, it seems the, settings the settings for the, for the dead, dead were altered. altered. Now it only requires a single person to deactivate the detonator in the bracelet. Investigate what's beyond door 5. We'll meet again later. And with that... Okay. Have a good one, guys. Wait, does that mean that he... You and him know each other? I'm going off ahead now. Well then. Why is the dumping? God damn it! You... You lied! Open you lie. Door, please. I'm begging he wasn't you. talking about Zero, he was talking about please get me out of here. Ace, Gintaro, whatever. Uh, oh my god, oh my god, there's no time left. Listen, I was lied to, he lied to me. He put me in here, it was him, he killed me. It was him. Ah! Kaboom. had four reasons for killing him. As I said before, in the Nonary game, the number nine bracelet is of utmost importance. If I had allowed him to keep such a useful tool, he, or it, would have become a threat to me. As such, I decided that he should be eliminated early on. I wanted the number nine bracelet. If I could manage to obtain it, I would be able to manipulate the game as I saw fit. I would be unable to acquire the bracelet unless its owner was dead. That's the second reason. Even setting aside his number, he would have been nothing but trouble for me. He was aware of my past. He knew what happened here nine years ago. It was important that I eliminate him before he was able to disseminate this information. Who was he? Lastly, I wished to conduct a simple test. A test to see if this nonary game was serious or a poor attempt at a joke. I needed to be quite sure. As such, I encouraged him to act against the rules so that I might observe the outcome. I don't get your third motive. What the hell happened nine years ago? Didn't I say? The nonary game was played. I planned it out, and I conducted its execution. Why? What on earth was it supposed to do? I don't really think I have any obligation to tell you that. Hey, what's with this gun? Where did he get this? Why don't you tell her, Santa? On the other side of door six, we found the gun in the coffin in the cargo room. Right? The bastard must have grabbed it when we weren't looking. Indeed, I did. That was a pretty serious mistake, you know? Just saying you intended to leave it behind. Well, there isn't much time left. I'll be off then. Well, where are you going? Do I really need to explain? I had assumed it would be obvious. He has the nine bracelet. So one plus eight is nine. Nine plus nine is 18. 18 is nine. I have the number nine bracelet. And now I have Lotus. Wasn't there a door with a nine on it in the room that looked like a church? That's where you're going, isn't it? And how do you know that? Santa told me about it while we were looking for Clover. I see. Well, you are correct. That is my destination. But now I must say goodbye to all of you. Ah. And please, don't forget my warning. Move and I'll pull the trigger. I don't need her alive to open the door, you know. Shit, he's getting away! But we can't risk it. Now, Lotus, open the door for me if you would. <laughs> Goodbye. Man, first it was Clover, then it was Santa. Damn it! And now it's Ace. This game just is like a nonstop roller coaster. <sighs> Hey, what's wrong? June, what happened? Are you all right? Jesus, you're burning up. Your fever's back. Are you okay? I'm okay. Really, I'm fine. You should be worrying about Lotus. But... Jumpy, don't worry about me. What is wrong with June? I just need a little rest. I'll be fine. Don't you remember? I just needed to rest a little bit last time. So please... Please save Lotus. Think about what Ace has already done, Junpei. When he's got what he needs from Lotus, you really think he's just gonna let her walk away? Damn it. You guys go on ahead. Soon as June starts feeling better, we'll follow you. Go <sighs> <sighs> All right. Come on, Seven. We're going after Eight. Hell yeah! 
Santa, you take good care of June. I'm trusting you. I don't know if that's the best idea either. Got it. Let's go! Down the elevators we go. We're gonna get there though, and the door's already gonna be engaged. And then we have seven and I, which is seven and five, which is 12, which is digital three. Where are they? I don't see them. You think they already went through? Maybe. Let's check the red. Yep. Engaged. It's occupied. That means Ace and Lotus went through here. Yeah, it seems like it. What do we do now? Yeah, uh, what should we do? Well, the big door is still vacant, but... We don't have the numbers. The two of us can't do anything with it. Yeah, not even counting how our digital route isn't nine. What if we had everyone else? Hold on. We have us, five, seven, six, and then Santa is three. That would be... 10, 11, which would be 21. But, if you take out Santa, you have 18. So it could be me, June, and seven could get through the other door. And how's that knocking again? What's that sound? What is up with this knocking? What is going on? It's coming from over there. The coffin. Yeah. Let's open it. How? By force! I don't think that's gonna happen. <laughs> well, you never know till you try, right? The only necessity for success is the willingness to suffer 1,000 failures. I don't know who said that, but okay. Who said that? Uh, I forget. I think you just made that up. <laughs> All the thoughts. Anyway, we've gotta try. <laughs> Damn it! See? Didn't I tell you? Sounds like something Edison would say, though. If you could just pull it open, why would it have something like that? Right. So unless I put in the right passcode, it's not gonna open. Will that 1438-3421 work? Was there some sort of clue somewhere? Hey, Junpei. Oh, I thought I was going to say to be continued again. I remember you mumbling about some weird numbers over by the bathroom in the first class cabin. You got those numbers by solving the secret message Clover was holding, right? Truth had gone, or something like that. Yeah, that's right. What about it? Well, maybe that number's the passcode for this thing, too. <sighs> Come on, that's impossible. Those numbers were the code to unlock that safe. Yeah, but the person who set up that safe in this coffin is the same person, right? Zero set up both of these. Yeah, probably. Well, then they might have set the same passcode for both of them. That's ridiculous. Why don't you just try it? I mean, it's not like you'll make things any worse. It'd just be a waste of time. There's no way they're the same number. Just try it. How do you know that? You never know until you try. The only necessity for success is the willingness to suffer a thousand failures. Ha <laughs> ha nice. All the dots. <laughs> Even more dots. Who said that? You. Uh, fine. One, four, three, eight, three, four, two, one. Come on. No way me. No way me. No way me. It worked! What? You gotta be kidding me. What? Snake! Snake's alive? I knew we- uh, well, we knew Snake's alive, but... Snake's stuck in the coffin? I mean... If Snake is zero, why would you put yourself in a coffin? You? Why? And what are you dressed up in? Ah, those voices. Junpei and Seven, unless I'm mistaken. Where are the others? Are they elsewhere? Uh, <clears throat> a lot of dots. Hmm, I see. I believe I got the gist of everything. Have I been sufficiently caught up? Yeah. <clears throat> but that still doesn't explain why you were trapped in here. We've still got no clue about Zero's true identity, let alone why the hell he's doing all this. 
why did he put Guy X in Snake's clothes? Is all this stuff somehow related to that nonary game that was played nine years ago? Hmm. Hey, Snake, do you know anything? Um, what are you talking about? I apologize, but I have no idea what you're saying. Oh, come on, just tell us if you know. I don't know what to tell you. How can I know something I don't? This is bad. We're running out of time. We need to go after Ace. Well, with him now, that changes the map. What do we map. do now? But 572 is uh, 14, which is 15, which is to 6. Uh, we would need Santa. And then we'd have to leave June behind. The three of us can't make a digital route of not. Yeah, we'd just get five. We're stuck here then. Oh, hey, I just remembered something. Oh, wait, not Santa, Clover. What? I can't do math. I I'm, too, I'm too emotionally torn right now to do math. What is it? I, um, uh, I found something earlier. What did you find? This. Zero. It's a zero bracelet from the captain. Zero's bracelet? What did you say? Are you saying that Seven has the number zero bracelet? Yeah. Where did you get that? Clover gave it to me. She did? Yeah. How did she come by it? Well, she found it. See, on the other side of door one, A deck, the captain's quarters. She asked me to hold on to it because it was too big and bulky for her to be lugging around. He's lying. He even told us earlier. I haven't actually looked at it yet. Didn't want to disturb the crime scene, you know? Basic stuff. Well, I did borrow one thing. He's not lying. He said it. He did borrow one thing. He probably said that so Snake doesn't find out about Clover. Oh. Alright, Junpei. Been nice knowing you. Oh, I see. Wait, what? Come on, man. I'm just kidding. <sighs> Still, just in case, I want to make sure the Zero Bracelet gets picked up by the Red. Snake, give me a hand, alright? What does the Zero Bracelet count as? Might just be Zero? Like, the same as a Nine? Oh, seven, two, and zero. Ah, I see. Huh? Why isn't it opening? That didn't work. Um, well, the third asterisk lit up, so it must have registered the zero bracelet. Maybe it isn't actually zero. Huh? What? That bracelet may not actually produce the number zero when scanned. That is what I'm saying. I don't follow. Hmm. All the dots. <laughs> Why don't we try a few different combinations? Perhaps we can determine what number that bracelet actually contains. Oh, got it. They decided to use the following combination. What? I'm just going top down, okay? Just go top down. Let's try snake, me, and the bracelet. If this combination works, then the number for this bracelet is two. Okay. Didn't open. Guess it's not two. Then? This idea is the following combination. Let's try me, seven, and the bracelet. If this combination works, then the number for this bracelet is six. Whoa, 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 what? Why is the bracelet June's nope. bracelet? Yes, so it would seem. That means the bracelet is actually six. Ah. But how is that possible? There's two sixes? The display on the bracelet clearly shows a zero. I oh, am man, that's so good. confused. I guess our time's just about up, huh? At any rate, we know now that the door can be opened. Let's go. But Snake, are you sure? Yeah. You know that only Junpei and I can go through this way. You needn't worry. I have a solution to this problem. My last resort. But if now is not the time for last resorts, then when? Please don't pull a gun out on us. Last resort? Oh, I just had... I just had an idea what he's plans on doing. Oh, this is genius. Gotta admit, you really surprised me there, kid. I couldn't figure out how the hell you were gonna get out of that one. 
How come you didn't do that right off the bat? Ah, uh, that's genius. The bracelet is on our left hand. Uh, the left, uh, the left arm. But his left arm was damaged and it's, uh, prosthetic. As I told you, it was a last resort. Had I used it at the beginning of the game, I would have come under a great deal of suspicion. I imagine that most people would have taken it to mean that I was zero. Yeah, that's what I thought. Once they'd convinced themselves of that, I wasn't optimistic about my chances of making it out of here alive, let alone unscathed. I felt it best to play my cards close to the chest, as it were. I don't blame you. That way, if I were in a situation where there was nothing else I could do, I'd have a little trick up my sleeve. I'd just take my bracelet off. My brother's left arm is... Um, it's not like a normal person's arm. It's fake. It's not a real arm. <laughs> I know this is kind of a weird thing to say, but I'm glad that's a fake arm. You don't have to be afraid of the door if you don't got a bracelet. You are correct. I think these stairs connect to the bottom deck. Doesn't look like it's underwater. Let's go through that door. Incinerator? Oh my. That doesn't sound very pleasant. Do you see a lever near the gate, perhaps? Yeah, right over here. How did you know that? Well, I'd be happy to regale you with the story. I imagine it should only take half a day or so. He's played the game before. Uh, hmm. All the dots. <sighs> if you pull it, the door ought to open. Got it. All the dots. Oh. <clears throat> Hello. What? Why? Why is there another one? Another? Another nine? Warning. Warning. Emergency incineration command has been acknowledged. Automatic incineration will take place in nine minutes. Oh boy. Please evacuate the incinerator immediately. Oh my, how exciting. You've run quite a show here, Zero. What's the matter? Too frightened to understand? Here, let me explain. It's said that the incineration system is about to activate. In nine minutes, this room will be engulfed in flame. Hmm. Who are you? don't recognize me? I'm hurt. It's me, Snake. Snake? Oh, yes. You are alive. I'm afraid your bizarre style had me confused. I'm quite glad to see that you're alive. Hmm. If you don't mind my asking, how did you get here? Snake, Junpei, Seven. The three of you couldn't have opened a door with a knife. Hmm. Did you use Clover's bracelet, perhaps? Why is the bracelet a six, though? That's still something I don't understand. What? Ah, well. Your reaction suggests that you did not. He doesn't know that Clover's dead. Uh, hold on! Why did you think we'd have Clover's bracelet? Oh, they haven't told you? Told me what? Hmm. Clearly not. Normally, I would take some time and enjoy the moment. But I'm afraid my time is at a premium just now. I'll have to make this quick. Clover... Don't do it, Ace! Keep your goddamn mouth shut! Clover... I said stop it! Don't listen to him, Snake! What happened to Clover? Clover died. No, that's not true. That's impossible. It's a lie. It has to be a lie. Oh, it's quite true. I can assure you of that. I killed her myself, you see. What? I'm sorry, did I stutter? I killed her. <sighs> I would have rather she died with less suffering. A bullet in her brain, perhaps, would have been ideal. Unfortunately, that would have made quite a bit of noise. Circumstances being what they were, I was forced to settle for the knife. The one the ninth man had, you remember. <laughs> All the dots. I believe I caught her just below the shoulder blade. I was rather lucky, in fact. My first thrust went right between her ribs. Her flesh was so soft. My knife slid in so easily. 
There was no resistance. That feeling was... I confess, I feel rather excited. It is a powerful memory. Someday, perhaps, I hope I can feel it again. Incineration will begin in seven minutes. I'm going to kill you. Hmm? What was that? I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Ah, so you're going to kill me. Please do. Come now. I'm waiting. Don't do it. Don't listen to him, Snake. Stop it, kid. He's screwing with your head. Is there a problem? What are you waiting for, boy? Don't you want me to send you to join your sister? Don't! The snake! Don't do it! <gasps> snake! Snake! <sighs> Lotus! Hurry! This way! No. Oh, <laughs> Incineration will begin in five minutes. Give me the woman. I need her. Without her bracelet, I will be unable to open this door. Quickly now! I don't have time for your shenanigans. I see. Then it would seem I have no choice. The rest of you must die as well. Fortunately, I have five bullets left. One for Junpei, another for Lotus, and the last three for that lump of idiotic man you call Seven. I will take Lotus's body with me and leave this room. Incineration will begin in four minutes. Well, it looks as though our time together is at an end. I rather enjoyed playing with you. Damn it! Goodbye. Kill you? What? No! That's impossible! I'll kill you! I'll kill you! St stay away from me! Get back! Stop! If you come any closer, I'll... I'll... Get away from me! <sighs> Listen to me! I said, don't come any closer! Shit! You bastard! <sighs> Jesus. Incineration will begin in... <laughs> Finally, you're... I'll kill you. You won't get away. You... You son of a bitch! You... You're a monster! Get off me! Let me go, damn you! This is it, Ace. We're going to... Burn to death together. What? Incineration will begin in two minutes. Yeah, damn it. Damn you. Get off. Let me go, you monster. Okay, okay, okay. Look, think about it this way my company owns a wonderful hospital, it has excellent doctors. You're, you're not wounded too seriously. I, I'm sure they can fix you up easily. You don't have to die. You could be saved. Just let me go. <laughs> Pathetic. Begging for your <coughs> life. Snake, that's enough. You can stop now. Yes. He's right, Snake. You've done enough. Come on, Snake. Let's go. Let's get out of here. You have to come with us. We have to leave together. I apologize. But I'm afraid I can't do that. You'd best forget about me. You need to leave soon. I'm going to take him with me. Shut up! Be quiet! I couldn't save Clover. My sister died because of me. Perhaps this will begin to atone for that. Perhaps in the afterlife. She can forgive me. She would want you to live. Now go. Go now. You have to go. Incineration will begin in one minute. God damn it! Shit! 
We're out of time. We gotta go. <sighs> uh, Junpei, what are you doing? You have to get out of here now. Snake! Snake! Wait! Don't be an idiot, Junpei! No! No! I have to help Snake! Snake! Get off of me! Let me go! Incineration will begin in 10 seconds. <laughs> Seven. Six. Damn it, I don't get a choice, kid! Don't blame me for this, all right? <laughs> Five. Four. Three. <laughs> All the top. <gasps> even more top. <laughs> yeah, even more top. <laughs> hey, wait, Junpei! Junpei, where are you going? You stay here. I'll go get Santa and June. You're gonna bring them here? How? Don't worry about that. Just stay here and wait. All right? <laughs> <sighs> All the dots. I saw an elevator on the way here. If I can get it to work, then maybe... Please work. Yes. Man, my hands are literally sweating right now. It's just... June! So Santa! intense. Damn it. Where is everyone? Where did they go? Looking around. June. Santa. Hello. Anyone? Where are you guys? This was a nine door. Connie! Connie! <gasps> no, no. It, it can't be. It's, it's impossible. Oh, Connie! Connie! Connie, are you alright? Jumpy? Uh. Oh man. Connie, what the hell happened to you? You. you feel. Jumpy! I'm sorry. I. Uh, I might not make it. No, no way, no way, I am going to let you die. I am going to save you, I promise. Thank you, Jumpy. Thank you so much oh, for everything. And, and like the worst thing about all this is, do you see her name? It doesn't say June, it says Connie. I was really happy. Some emotional gut punch one after another. To see you again, Jumpy. Oh. Really happy. Don't give me that I was crap. You're gonna see me again lots more times. You, you just gotta hang on. All right, Connie? Jumpy, did you know you meant a lot to me when we were kids? I liked you for a long time, Junpei. A really long time. Zero. Oh, is he Jigsaw now? Oh. You son of a bitch! Where are you hiding? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. 
What the hell are you talking about? No. No, it hasn't. I'm not gonna let it end yet. I'm gonna get out of here with Kane. Why? Ma? The wrong path? What are you talking about? I told you! I am not gonna lose! What? What? Connie, wait here. I'll be right back, I promise. <sighs> oh, the dots. Damn it. Where are you? It doesn't matter. I need to get Connie out first. C C Connie! Oh, God. No. No. Where is she? Where'd she go? Connie. Connie! 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 Wait, where'd she go? What huh? happened? All the dots. Wait. This is... White smoke. Uh, game? No? You, like... What? So what happened? Did we get out? What did we... I have so many questions. So, uh, uh, sh shall we start listing the questions that we should be asking ourselves? Um, one, who is zero? Two, what does zero mean by I lost? Three, why was the bracelet number six, which is June's bracelet? Four, where did Connie go? Five, did everyone else get out okay? And six, what the heck, man? Seriously. The end, or is it? I hate you, game. I hate you so much. But I like to save, yes, I would like to save. Come on, come on, where you at? Where you at, screen? Seek a way out. Seek a door that carries a nine. Now it is time. Let our game begin. Yes, I would like to save. Okay, so looking at the top of the screen, we have... Five endings. One is left. This has a yellow key and zero lost. And this way is now unlocked. But that doesn't make any sense because. Uh, what was it? Handle? No. Nine photos, a coffin. If we go this way, this is the axe ending. Can this truly be it? Can this be the end? Can be the, Can this be our last, our, our last way? It's only one way, I guess, to find out, and that's to go through this door. The three left behind. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you would like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more. Also, please do not forget, you matter. You are brilliant and you are loved. And you should always remember to be true to yourself. Don't let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly feathered flightless bird. Till next time.